Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is FML. And as you know, the abbreviation for FML is, well, I'm not going to tell you here, but you have a good idea of it. But it says, life's a joke, laugh, right? This game is very similar to the game Life, with a little bit of a different complexity and a couple different stylizations that are printed on the board here. In the game, you're basically going to be a student to begin with, and then you're going to be progressing slowly through the board, collecting jobs, collecting new cribs, collecting new vehicles, and other things as you go through the, war, war, you know, the, the, the ride of life. And as you go through at the very end, if you manage to do really well by having a lot of different money, like for instance this $100,000 bill, you will be able to get uh, a retirement place, and it could be on the moon, or it could be at a Shady Homes motel. It could be anywhere, right? Now, that's the basic idea of the game. If you've seen Life before, you're going to get a good idea of how to play this one. But let me go ahead and show you it anyway. So here we have the game, FML, the game. And you've got the board, you've got the FML cards, as well as cribs, money, and careers. Over here, you've got all the different types of money, which you've got your $50,000 in debt. And then everything's 5000 and up. 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100,000. You're going to be getting little cars here that we're going to be able to put little peoples in the cars. These are like 3D printed little miniature cars here, along with just a similar style as to the game Life, the cars here. You get your die, and you're going to start on these tracks over here. You can start on either the burnout or the college track. And depending on where you go is where you, how you're going to get different careers. So if I were to start here on the burnout track, I would simply roll the die. You move that many spaces, and it says what you have to do. So this says uh, get caught stealing condoms and pay five thousand dollars, right? Uh, maybe the next person gets to go, and he spends. He rolls one. He's going to go to the college. So it says busted for minor in possession at your first frat party, and you spend five thousand dollars as well. Not a great way to start off your life. Let's just say that. But also, as you continue to go down these track by rolling die, now you can roll multiple die, and you can kind of make your own rules as how you want to do the game, uh, just like in the regular basic rules of life. But there is certain rules that must be followed. First of of all, when you get to places like the job hunt area, you're going to have to stop. And depending on where uh, you went, if you went to the burnout of the college, is how you're going to decide your career. As a college graduate, you'll get to choose, choose two. You can be either a janitor or a drug dealer as a college graduate. And if you were going to go down the burnout track, you only get one. And criminal lawyer. What, what do you know? Criminal lawyer. So the person who's the burnout is the criminal lawyer. The drug dealer is the college, the college degree person. Anyway, keep going down the board, and as you go down, you're going to get FML cards, right? Just like this. This is, uh, let's see, FML, have a kid, or pay $10,000 for an you-know-what. And the idea is you're going to then go ahead and choose these cards here. FML cards, and it'll say different things. This one says, get distracted checking yourself out at the gym and drop a dumbbell on your foot. Pay $50,000 for surgery. So you can get good stuff or bad stuff. There's tons of different cards in here. Uh, collect $50,000. <laughs> Roll again. So you start losing your hair, wear a hat, for, or, or the group's uh, choosing for the rest of the game. Tons of different things that can happen, and it's going to make you do things. Not really do things as in, like, jump up and down or anything like that. Uh, I think there's one that you have to actually do push-ups, but I try to avoid that. But nevertheless, you're going to keep going, and as you keep going, you're going to go over here, and there's a crib you get to go ahead and choose. Uh, over here is the crib, different things you can select. And based on how you get there is who's going to decide what you need to decide which ones you want. There's free, there's a Bugatti, 500000 so on and so forth, right? There are all the different places you can live. A million dollars, a McMansion. And then you're going to continue. You can choose to go down any of the paths that you want. And there's certain things you can land on. For instance, over here, uh, this one says, hire to help launder money from illegal Bitcoin trading and collect $80,000, but you have to pay $30,000 to the lawyer. So if anybody here is the lawyer, like for instance, this guy would be the lawyer, you have to give him the money. If you yourself are the lawyer, you would simply pay yourself that money. And he would keep going down the track. Now, some of them have little things here, like you can use on your phone to see what this says, as well as drawing the cards on all the different places to say F FML. Also, if you land on this space, you have have to draw a card and the idea is you're trying to collect as much money as you possibly can going throughout the board until you reach the very very end of the board and over here is where you're going to retire it's going to be based on the amount of money you have everybody gets a certain starting amount of money and throughout the game you're going to gain and lose that money as you could tell and if you can make it uh, up to uh, 1.5 million dollars you can go ahead and retire on the, on mars However, if you make less than 50, if you're a negative money, you get to retire as a Walmart greeter. Nothing wrong with that. Of course, I love those people, but that's just how the game works anyway. So that is the idea of the game. You can play with up to eight different players, and you can turn it into a drinking game as well. They have a bunch of different rules as well. And not only that, but you don't necessarily win by the retirement space. What actually happens is after you've gone through your entire life journey, you all kind of discuss how your life went and determine who was the uh, best at life. And that person is crowned the winner based on a voting system. 
other thing I forgot to mention too is that you do get a salary for your 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 job, whether it be a drug dealer or even just a criminal lawyer. And there's different monies. Like there's a hundred thousand, seventy thousand. So I think the college dropout gets to, the college person gets to choose, and the dropout gets to just have the one that they're starting with. But you could end up being the drug dealer who makes a million, and the col criminal lawyer who makes twenty thousand dollars a year. So there is it's just a bunch of randomness in that aspect. There's also a payday space or intersections throughout the board where you're going to get paid via your journey throughout life and that's how you're going to make money to be able to pay for all the great wonderful things you can acquire as well as not so wonderful things but anyway that is the idea for the game fml <laughs> a really fun little game uh, involving like a party mechanism so i think it's pretty simple to say it it's definitely a college kind of kid game uh, you know brosty broski kind of thing going on we just roll in like oh you know I just had to pay for my, my, my condom ripped and <laughs> having a baby and I got to pay $100,000 or, or something like that, right? But it has that appeal to people like me when I was younger, I played the game Life. It was the only random roll the move style game that had a lot of like uh, losing your turn and that kind of stuff that I didn't mind playing because the game wasn't about winning or losing at the very end. It was just seeing how the progress of your entire life went. And so even though somebody had finished already, I was still getting to play the game and experiencing all the different things, rolling on the stock market and so on and so forth. There is some stuff like that in this game as well. And the FML cards are a fairly interesting, unique little addition to where you just get to read it and see what it does. It could be good. Most likely it's bad. But if you don't mind the vulgarity and crudeness of the game, because it is kind of crude and rude and it has some of those stereotypical things in it. Uh, if you don't like that, don't get this game. But if you don't mind that and you enjoy the game life, this is definitely one to pick up, especially if you're like interested in doing drinking parties and all that kind of stuff. This is one of those games that I would recommend for you as well. Um, it's got really, it's got quality components minus paper money. I'm never going to be a fan of paper money. I just don't like them. I'd rather have uh, chits or, or tokens or even cubes for that matter. Uh, the cards are sturdy and thick. The board is nice. It's really nice. Well done board. And the miniature little cars are fine. In fact, sometimes you're going to have to get to, you have to switch and make your own car with throughout the game, which is kind of cool. We actually used a jelly bean, but I threw that in the, the yard just before we started this because it was nasty. But that is the idea for FML. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the game in the description below and go ahead and pick it up if you want. If not, that's okay too. And that is it for this unfiltered gamer review. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.